This is CNN Breaking News. All that coming up, but there is breaking news here in New York right now. The New York City Police Department saying that letters containing threats to the mayor, Michael Bloomberg, contain material that has now tested positive, positive initial tests for the poison ricin. The deputy police, police commissioner, Paul Brown, saying the letters were opened in New York on Friday. He says the anonymous writer threatened the mayor, threatened Mayor Bloomberg with references to the debate on gun laws. Civilian personnel in New York and Washington who came into contact with the open letters haven't shown any symptoms. However, members of the NYPD Emergency Service Unit who came in contact with the letter that was opened at the city's mail facility on Gold Street here in Manhattan uh, on Friday. They are being examined for what are described as minor symptoms of ricin exposure, a very significant development, potentially very, very disturbing a letter sent to the mayor of New York, uh, testing initially, testing positive for rice. And uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci of the National Institute of Health is uh, joining us right now. Uh, Dr. Fauci, uh, tell us a little bit about rice and exposure and what potentially this could mean to someone who went through and touched that letter or inhaled rice in from one of those letters. Well, it's one of the most uh, toxic uh, and deadly substances that you can actually have. So the idea of exposing someone to it where it could actually get into the system can be really very destructive. So something like that is clearly an attempt to cause significant and serious uh, damage to the person who would get exposed to it. I remember from the ricin, uh, the, the, you know, the, the anthrax letters that, were, that came out, you remember that whole, that whole uh, crisis that we had in well. Washington yeah. and in New York right after 9-11. Uh, all of a sudden, everybody who came into contact started taking Cipro, uh, that antibiotic. What, what should those who came into contact potentially with ricin be doing as a preventive measure? Well, there isn't any preventive measure. I mean, if you really were exposed, you'll get sick and you need to be seen by a physician. Go to an emergency room if you get sick. But there isn't an antibiotic because it's not a microbe. It's a toxic substance that interferes seriously with some of the metabolic processes in the body. So it isn't something that you could give an antibiotic for because it isn't a, a microbe of any sort. So there really isn't any effective treatment when someone gets exposed and the consequences are really very serious if, in fact, it's ricin. If it's ricin, uh, potentially, uh, what I hear you saying is that could be a lot more serious than the anthrax letters that we're all familiar with about a decade or so ago, because there, there really isn't a whole lot doctors can do. Is that right? That's correct. There is no remedy for it. There's no anecdote for it. There's, there's, there's no treatment for it except to support the person who, if they get exposed to enough of it, will get seriously ill and they would need significant medical support. One, one, one more question before uh, we move on to another subject, and I know you're going to be sticking around for us. When they say that, uh, that some of those here in New York who uh, came into contact with this letter that is believed to have rice, and at least the initial tests uh, tested positive, uh, have what are called minor symptoms. What do you uh, uh, anticipate? What are those minor symptoms that people should be paying attention to? Well, you could feel nauseated, you could feel sick, you could feel somewhat faint. Again, people need to understand that ricin, unlike an infectious agent, blocks metabolic processes in the body and can shut down some of the systems. People can feel sick from a variety of things. Just feeling some symptoms, you want to make sure they're real and not just because of the shock of thinking that they were exposed, but they certainly need to be seen by a physician or a medical facility that can examine them thoroughly. And if they do need support, to get support. All right, uh, Dr. Fauci, don't go away because there's another story we're following right now. I want your expertise on that as well.